is a border guard inspection station right down the way here. For five, four years that we've been here, it's been closed. This is the fifth year. Let's see if it's open. What you're looking at is a tethered blimp that's probably, I'm going to estimate, 5,000 feet uh, in the air. All new at 10, spy technology, once used in war, now in American airspace patrolling the border. Yeah, tonight, ABC 15 investigator Dave Biscabing is taking action to show you these new eyes in the sky. And as you're about to learn, they see far more than the average drone. It's sometimes called the floating eye. This unmanned blimp captures crystal clear images on the ground, day and night. It was used during combat for military surveillance to spot insurgents. But today, it's the latest technology used by U.S. Border Patrol. John Marion is with the manufacturer, Logos Technologies. He agreed to show us how the blimp works. The system is designed to take a movie of a city-sized area, so it's got cameras that are hundreds of megapixels that essentially take a picture once a second. It will be used to help Border Patrol catch drug runners and immigrants crossing illegally. And it's now, if you ever see one of these, you'll know exactly what it is. Well, we'll be coming up on it here shortly. Now, this is the complex up here I was telling you about, the Border Patrol Inspection Station. It has been closed. Now it's open. The checkpoint is open. It has been closed for the last four years that we've been here. But a lot has changed in this country. The last election, Arizona approved Proposition 314, which is if you are in the Arizona as an illegal immigrant, you will be arrested and deported. We're going to leave the camera rolling and see what they do. First time now. This is our fifth year here. This is the first time this has been open. This is about... I'd say 25 miles south of Quartzsite on Highway 95. How you doing, sir? By yourself today? Huh? By yourself? By yourself? You I'm, I'm deaf, man. You a citizen? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yes, sir. Uh, I didn't put the camera on him because... There's supposed to be a place out here called The Circle, and it's where people walk around in the all together. It's an encampment. Uh, I don't know where it is, but if I heard it was a Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders encampment, I would make a concerted effort to determine its exact location. I think the desert has its own beauty, like the Mississippi Delta. There's a certain beauty about the Mississippi Delta, and uh, the desert has its own beauty as well. There's just something about the desert that captures me. Freedom feels like freedom. My personal opinion is that the more independent a person becomes, the freer they are, of course. Now, you remember the song by Janis Joplin? I think uh, Chris Christopherson wrote it. Another word for freedom is having nothing left to lose. I don't think there are words that are more inaccurate than that. Freedom is having everything to lose. Freedom is not free. It's the most costliest thing that there's ever existed in the human element. It's freedom. Look at how many people have died for freedom. How much money and property spent and destroyed for freedom. Freedom is the most expensive thing there is. Thomas Alva Edison was once asked, What's the most valuable thing there is? And supposedly, his answer was time, because all the money in the world won't buy you one minute of it. Well, that's true. But in my way of thinking, there are two other elements 
to the human condition, and that is good health and freedom, then in essence, you bought more time, quality time. We actually like quartzite for many reasons. First of all, it just feels like you're just free, just completely free. And you can park anywhere you want to. There's like, I think that's why they call it dispersed camping, because it is dispersed. It's 11,000 acres out there. You could just pick a spot. No one's going to crowd you. The people who are band together or uh, circle the wagons typically are friends and family. You can be far out or you can be close in. It's just it's just whatever whatever suits you. The other thing about quartzite is that you pay you one hundred and eighty dollars, and that may go up. We'll see what happens uh, with this new administration coming in. They may back down off that. That was a Biden administration that uh, wanted to raise one eighty per season, which is seven months, to uh, six hundred per season. Now, uh, that's 240% increase, by the way. At any rate, we find it, uh, we can come and stay in Quartzsite for $180 camping fee. And that's it. You don't pay anything else. You've got your services. You've got your, uh, your trash, your water, and your sewer. Uh, you dump your uh, holding tanks. You go to the services. The service is not there for you. But it's there. It's available for that kind of money. Little money, cheap money. But what we like to do, while you get that, now we can stay at the place where we're not paying out hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month for an RV park. Went yet? Uh, we wanted to go to California at least once, and we did. Uh, Fourteen hundred dollars a month. We stayed there three months. We can stay in the desert for amounts of thirty, forty dollars a month, and. Uh, that way, we can uh, build our or uh, rebuild our bank account back up a little bit, and we're not paying high expenses RV park fees, and also we got a lot more elbow room, a lot more elbow room uh, in Quartzsite, and there's a thousand places out there, a hundred thousand places that you could move to. It's up to you. That's why we love Quartzsite. Not only that, I'm gonna put the take a look. Not only that, but take a look at the temperatures here. Take a look at the weather prediction here. This is weather bug. I took a screenshot of it. I'm going to put that up. Now, look at this. This is Orsite, Arizona. Look at the evening, the nighttime temperatures. That's perfect sleeping weather temperatures, perfect sleeping temperature. During the day, it's beautiful. Most of the time, it is sunny. It is cobalt blue skies. And just absolutely a beautiful place. I just love the desert. Anyway, I wanted to tell you that. I wanted to share that with you. Well, thank you for joining the channel, and thank you for uh, being here. We don't take you for granted. We appreciate you being here. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And uh, hit the thumbs up button, share the video, leave a comment, hit the notification bell. And uh, in this video... I simply want to share with you some of the different ways uh, people are camping out here in the desert, different rigs, in the different rigs, and so forth. And it's just that simple.